Welcome to the Affirmation for Inspiration practice. This affirmation is from the book called Affirmations for Self-Healing by Swami Kriyananda, based on the teachings of Paramhansa Yogananda. And let's invoke and invite the power of the divine to be with us in this practice. Divine Mother, Heavenly Father, Dearest friend, beloved, God, great masters of self-realization, great ancient spirit of Hanuman, great saints and sages of all traditions, we humbly, lovingly invoke your presence, bow before you all. Help us to find inspiration. We invite it into our lives. Divine Mother, awaken your love in us then teach us to awaken that love in all. Om, peace, amen. So with the eyes closed, sitting upright with the back in a straight line, bringing all of your determination, your enthusiasm for this practice, the head is parallel to the floor. Let's begin by dissolving or releasing the tension in the body. This is a simple practice. It's a short and long double inhalation and then tensing all of the muscles in the body, vibrating with will, and then exhaling and relaxing and releasing all of the tension in the body. It sounds like this. Low, medium, high tension, vibrate with it with will. Exhale, relax, release and feel. So let's do that together. Taking in a normal deep breath, and all the way out. And now double inhale and tense. Low, medium, high tension in all the muscles in the body drawing energy in. Exhale, relax, release and feel, dissolve all the tension. Again, inhale and tense. Low, medium, high, vibrate with will. Exhale, relax, release and feel. Last round, inhale and tense. Low, medium, high tension, just a bit higher and vibrate with will. Exhale, relax, <sighs> release and feel. And now let's do a few rounds of measured breathing where we'll be inhaling to a count of five, holding to a count of five, and then exhaling to a count of five. So take a normal breath in and out. And now, slowly inhaling through the nostrils, inhale, hold, exhale, inhale, hold, exhale, inhale, keeping the gaze uplifted to the spiritual eye, hold, Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Last round. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Now breathing normally. You can imagine a mountain range in the distance. At the top of that mountain, fix your gaze. This is the point between the eyebrows, the spiritual eye, a seat of superconscious awareness. We'll be keeping our gaze uplifted to this point throughout the meditation. Now begin to notice the breath in the nostrils, not controlling the breath, but letting it come and go naturally, as if it were waves on a seashore, it's coming and going. And begin to feel, notice the sensation in the nostrils. Notice that on the inhalation, the breath is a bit cool, and on the exhalation, slightly warm. And 
and becoming more and more relaxed with each breath. Keeping the gaze uplifted to the spiritual eye. Now, as you feel the breath in the nostrils, let's move that sensation up consciously. Feel that sensation moving up now to the bridge of the nose, where the nose meets the skull. Feel that the breath is coming and going from the bridge of the nose. becoming more and more relaxed with each breath. And now let's move that sensation up just slightly now to the point between the eyebrows, the spiritual eye, keeping the gaze uplifted to that point. Feel the breath coming and going from the spiritual eye. And now, imagine and feel that there are a million miles of clear space to your left. And there are a million miles of clear, unobstructed space to your right. A million miles of space behind you. A million miles of space in front of you a million miles of clear, unobstructed space below you, and a million miles of space above you, floating in infinite space in all directions. Feel this space around the body. holding on to this feeling of calm alertness. Listen now to these words by, by Swami Kriyananda. He says, Inspiration is of two kinds. The rediscovery or rearrangement of thoughts that already exist in the subconscious mind and the sudden appearance of new thoughts or new insights from the superconscious. The higher inspiration certainly is more to be desired than the lower, for it is based in truth and not in imagination. It is not always easy, however, to recognize the difference between lower and higher inspiration, particularly when the lower is vitalized by the emotions. When inspiration comes, receive it with calm love and see whether untouched by emotions, its impulse grows stronger or weaker. Love is the water that nourishes true inspiration. And now we're going to be using this affirmation. We're going to be repeating it five times. First, with a loud, energetic voice. Secondly, with a normal speaking voice. Thirdly, whispering and making your concentration even more focused. And then the fourth time, silently. And then the fifth time, silently again with even deeper concentration. So now, repeating after me in a loud, energetic voice. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. 
In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. Again, the normal speaking voice. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. And now thirdly, whispering, making your concentration even more focused. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. And now fifth time, silently, I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. And now again, silently, aiming to lift your consciousness into super consciousness, into your soul awareness, so that these thoughts become deeply, deeply embedded in all levels of your body, mind, and soul. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. Repeating this prayer inwardly. O Spirit, Thou art all truth. In Thee lies the solution to my every need. Inspire me now, Lord. Show me which path to follow of the many that lie before me. Om, peace, amen. Now I'd like to give you some time to invite, invoke this inspiration, keeping our backs in a straight line, head parallel to the floor, keeping the gaze uplifted to the spiritual eye. Feeling in the heart center. Let's spend some time listening now. Calling out. Reveal thyself. Reveal thyself. Now just listening keeping the gaze uplifted at the spiritual eye. Let's invite inspiration to come to us, to guide our way. Perhaps we have a question that we're looking for inspiration or inspiration, creative inspiration for a project, creative inspiration for our lives, what to do next. Perhaps we have a question that we want to be answered or perhaps we've received an inspiration and we want to know whether or not to move forward with that inspiration. Let's spend some time now. You can have a conversation with your higher self and hold these thoughts up to the calmness within. Let's spend some time now holding these thoughts up to the calmness within.
as Swami Kriyananda tells us, when inspiration comes, receive it with calm love and see whether untouched by emotion, its impulse grows stronger or weaker. Love is the water that nourishes true inspiration. I hold my thoughts up to the calmness within. In calmness, I receive inspiration from my higher self. Spirit, thou art all truth. In thee lies the solution to my every need. Inspire me now, Lord. Show me which path to follow of the many that lie before me. with gratitude in our hearts, feeling blessed by this opportunity to connect with our higher self. We've invited inspiration. We've invited our higher self to guide us, to show us the way, to give us the answers that we're seeking. Perhaps this inspiration comes during the meditation and perhaps it comes to us at another time. It can come to us through anything, through anyone. So we invited this inspiration. We may be inspired by hearing a song or seeing a flower or a sunset or speaking with a friend. It may come to us through anything. Keep your heart open to receive inspiration to guide you. And if you had an inspiration that you are asking for guidance on, feel whether the impulse for that inspiration is stronger or weaker after holding the thoughts up to the calmness within. Is that impulse stronger? Or is that impulse weaker? Ask your higher self to guide you. Thank you for joining me in this inspiration affirmation. Continue to use it in your practice and blessings of inspiration and joy to you, friends. Om, peace, amen.